Hi, I'm Johnny Marr. I'm sales director at Iconic Watches. Today we're going to be doing another of our watch reviews for you. The watch we're reviewing today is one of Rolex's latest creations, which is the new Ever Rose Rolex Daytona, which is a 116505. Rolex actually manufacture this watch with two different dials. The watch variant we're going to be reviewing for you today is actually the one with the black dial, which is my favourite and certainly the more popular of the two dial variations. Um, I hope you find this review helpful and hey, you'll have a look at our new website at iconicwatches.co.uk. Uh, now let's have a look at the watch. The most desirable dials on Daytona, which pays tribute to Paul Newman. You have a look at the sub-dials. This is similar, a rose gold version to the, the dial that's available on the yellow gold watch, commonly known as the Paul Newman dial. Since the 1960s, Paul Newman wore one of these in a motor racing film. As you can see, this watch its a brand new watch. You can see it comes with all the accessories. This is the new style Rolex guarantee card. They no longer use the old style punch papers. Obviously, we've got our instructions here. And you can see the new style Rolex box. They're disposed of the old leather bound affair. It's probably a retrograde step, in my opinion. The Rolex Everose Gold Daytona, it's fairly unique and it uses a brand new compound of rose gold which Rolex has developed. Um, traditionally some compounds of rose gold. Rose gold is obviously an alloy. It's 750 parts gold. The, the materials that give it its actual colour in common in common with white gold is a compound what is mixed with the 750 parts of yellow gold. And traditional rose gold watches did have a habit of fading with time, hence why Rolex calls it ever rose gold. It's been specifically designed to keep that colour until time immemorial. It's really removed the bezel protector. You can get a better look at the watch. Obviously all brand new watches come with the plastic metal protect bezel protector you can see there. Um, as we can see on this watch, this watch has the Rolex new in-house movement that Rolex themselves have created. One can tell on this watch, because the dials, if you look very, very carefully, they're not absolutely symmetrical. The old Zenith Daytonas used to have sub-dials which will be absolutely in line at the 3 and 9 o'clock position. It's a very, very fine movement Rolex have created for this watch. It's almost unique in the watch world and that it has a power reserve of 72 hours. Obviously it's a chronometer certified movement of our now all current Rolexes that they manufacture. And the case, quite a decent sized case for a Rolex, it's 40 millimeters in diameter. Also it's obviously got the super luminova luminescence on the dial, on the markers and actually on the hands. If you look very carefully at the hands you can see there much larger and broader than normal watch hands. This is an evolution that took place in about 2003-2004 when Daytona, as you can observe, it carries the new thicker style hands, which are over average size for a watch of this size. Rolex actually introduced these hands because there was a lot of legibility issues with the older thin style hands and um, it's an evolution which I think adds to the watch. You can see here from the side of a watch you've got three, three buttons. They're all on the Rolex locking system. That's the stop and start function of a chronograph, the top right hand side button. The button on the, on the bottom on the right hand side, that's the reset function. Uh, in common with most Rolex sports models, the main crown on this watch has the trip lock mechanism um, which gives the watch a water resistance to a depth of 200 meters. So you can have a beauty of having a watch which is very very good dress watch and also a watch which is very practical for everyday wear and doesn't have to be put in a locker if you're going to the gym because it will it will stand the water. I certainly will want to be leaving one of these in a locker. Um, the current retail price on them is 19,100 which gives you some idea of how expensive this new Everose Gold is to produce for Rolex because it carries the same recommended retail as the white gold Rolex Daytona which we also sell at Iconic Watches. 
We've also got another very clever anti-counterfeit measure which Rolex have put on all watches since around 2006, I believe, which at 6 o'clock position on the glass, it's non-eye visible. One would have to use a jeweler's loop to detect it. Rolex have actually laser etched a small Rolex coronet onto the crystal. Um, that's a very a good way of checking the authenticity because although counterfeiters have tried to simulate this, it's generally eye visible. A genuine Rolex one does take quite a lot of time. If you have a look at the rear of a watch, we can see that it's a, it's a brand new unworn article because it still retains Rolex plastic case seals on the reverse of the watch. Um, Rolex used to, quite a helpful but not fail-safe anti-counterfeit measure, they used to fit a, a green hologram with the model number of the watch written across it. Um, unfortunately, they've had some issues with people being allergic to the old-style holograms, so they've now gone for clear plastic stickers.